Rich in our continuing coverage, Colorado is in what education leaders are now calling a teacher crisis as our state struggles to fill those positions. Now, last December, the state lowered the requirements to become an early educator. And News 5's Caroline Peters is joining us live in Colorado Springs from the Early Connections Learning Center with more on that. Good morning, Caroline. Good morning, Ira and Bree. The rules and regulations, they were revised and the new rules and regulations were put into effect on December 1st. You might be wondering what exactly does this mean and how did they come about these decisions? I spoke with Diane Price, the president and CEO of Early Connections Learning Centers in the Springs. She says the entire teaching profession is struggling. People in her position are having a difficult time filling their early education classrooms. Price has worked in education for 33 years. She was actually on the subcommittee that was looking at teacher qualifications. She says the committee was able to make what she quotes thoughtful suggestions that align many of these different ways in crosswalking the experience that is required, end quote. If you come out with a degree in education in a public school, you're a teacher. You graduate, you have a degree, you become a teacher in a public school. In early education, you could graduate with a degree, but you still had to have a certain number of hours of experience. So we began to talk about, were there other ways to count for hours? Because if I have a degree, I should be able to go in and be a teacher right now and be paid as a teacher. Price says they are still making sure that those who step foot into the classroom as a teacher continue to get the training and resources they need to be successful. But what are parents thinking about these new changes? I did have the chance to speak with a local parent who also served as a preschool teacher for seven years. You'll hear from her after the break. In Colorado Springs, Caroline Peters, News 5. All right, thank you, Caroline.